Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome. Welcome to my world where it's natural, supernatural. My guest has literally gone to heaven many times. And as a result, she has a very unique understanding of how the spirit world operates. Can you imagine seeing into the invisible world and seeing the real cause? I mean, when life is pounding you to the point of giving up, you can hardly imagine how much victory is yours. Hello, I'm here with uh, Anna Werner, and uh, Anna, uh, many have heard of a seer. What is a seer, S-E-E-R? This is my best way to describe it. A seer is a prophet that hears primarily from God or receives revelation through the gift of sight. That, that is, I'll tell you what, that is such a wonderful gift. And you have found that this can be learned and transferred as long as someone is a is a believer. Do you have a scriptural basis for that? Yeah, in Second Kings chapter six, Elisha, we see there that he prayed over his servant's eyes to be opened. They were going into a battle and he prayed, Lord open his spiritual eyes, right? And then it says the servant's eyes were open and he saw chariots of fire and he saw the horses around them. So he wasn't seeing before. So that gift of seeing was imparted. So that encourages me that other people can see as well. Not only that, you've been teaching this for a number of years yeah. and you're seeing that it is transferable. Mm -hmm. And a little later, if you, only if you want, We'll have her pray for that impartation for you. Mm -hmm. Oh, a few you want that? The others don't? Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, I, I mean, that provokes me to jealousy, but this provokes me even more to jealousy. For 30 days, you woke up every morning yeah. and you're in heaven. I mean, that's heaven to me. <laughs> uh, tell me about um, one of the visitations and you saw oil footprints. Yes, I was, and I just want to go on record to say I'm not a morning person, so for me to wake up and go to heaven, I mean, that's a miracle oh, God, that'd in be easier. itself. It'd be, look, it'd be easier for me. I'm a morning person, God. I'll make it easy. <laughs> <laughs> so I had this encounter where um, Jesus came to me, and he had a, it looked like a big bowl, and he said, I want to oh, wash your God. feet, Anna. And I said, no, God. And he said, I want to wash your feet. And so I said, okay. And it wasn't in the bowl, it wasn't water. It was like an oily substance. And Jesus sat and he washed my feet. And as he was washing, I was just weeping and I was just crying. And after he was done, he said, Anna, I want to show you something. And so we stood up and he said, come on, let's walk together. So we walked together and he said, now look behind you. And behind me, I could see our footprints there. And there were, you know, the oily footprints of look Jesus and my footprints. And he said, Anna, look at that. And he said, it's your joy and your honor to release my glory and my presence. And from that encounter, I've noticed his presence come so much thicker on me. My life was really, my ministry really changed after that encounter. Um, I, I, so right after that, um, you started having miracles and oil appearing, uh, mm -hmm. and you went to a, uh, a, a congregation in Ohio, and you prayed for the pastor's wife. Yeah, so it was before the meeting started, and I was back in a side room, and I was just soaking in the presence of the Lord. And the pastor's wife was just there to see if I needed any, anything like water or anything, and I said, come on back, just, just soak in the presence with me. So we're sitting there just praising God and worshiping, and I looked at her, and she was laying on the floor at the time. I looked at her, and I saw, because as a seer, often, people's body gets highlighted where they need healing for. I mean, that sounds, what are you talking about, Anna? But I, I'm just being honest, I saw her back was highlighted to me. And I said, God's healing your back. He's touching your back right now. And right then she felt fire go through her body. Now I had no idea, Sid, that she had come to that meeting with her little lunch cooler box full of ice packs because she had lived in pain with her back for over 10 years. 
Now, I had no idea. I didn't know anything about this. She got healed on the spot right there, got filled with joy. And then to the start our meeting, I said, you gotta come give your testimony because there's an anointing for backs. So she gets up, she shares what just happened. And it was like 30 people stood I said, does anybody have a back problem, spine problem, neck problem? And it was about 30 people stood up and we saw God just heal. Just in his glory, in his presence, he just healed them. What's going on right now? There is such a, th a, a thick and weighty healing presence in this room. And if you can hear me right now through the media, I just want you to know, I just because I see angels right now, and I see them carrying spines. So this thing about back, there's a reason I think God highlighted this to me right now to share this. If you're needing uh, healing in your back, your shoulders, specifically also in your neck, I want you to stand up wherever you are. If you're at home, if you're in here, just stand up and know that the glory of the Lord is falling on you right now. By his stripes, you have been healed. Do you believe it? Do you have faith to believe right now? He can touch you wherever you are at. Also, there's an angel carrying kidneys. He's, he showed it to me this morning, and he's here right now. So listen, if you are needing healing in your kidneys, like you're on dialysis or something like that, the Lord is touching your kidneys. It's a creative miracle. Wow, and also just headaches. If you suffer from migraine headaches, I want you to stand up right now. I just prophesy the Lord is touching you right now. That headache must go in Jesus' name. Now also, I just come against stress and trauma that has locked into your body. Wow, and I, wow, just the shalom, peace of Christ. Just claim over yourself, head to toe. He is healing you. He is touching you right now. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. You know, as, as Anna describes her heavenly visions, there is an impartation and a revelation and an activation that occurs in you. I want to hear a few more of them when we come back. How about you? Boy, I'll tell you what. You just open yourself up and feel the presence of God, the glory of God, because in His presence, all things are possible. You know, when I sit with guests that are in specific anointings, I pick up their anointing. I'm going to pray it won't leave, but I just had a vision of a box of Band-Aids, and someone has a Band-Aid on their body, and what is that you've covered up is being healed right now in Jesus' name. Wow. Uh, Anna, tell me uh, briefly about knee to knee, eye to eye. That was during that 30 days where I woke up and right. I was in heaven. Um, I just feel the anointing on the story right now, but I would wake up and I would see Jesus. We would meet kneecap to kneecap. We would meet in the garden, and we were kneecap to kneecap, eye to eye, and we would talk heart to heart. And one day I came to him with a, like a heavy burden on me. Um, we had just seen someone incredibly healed through our healing rooms, and at the same time, a friend of ours was really suffering from cancer. And so I was holding both of those experiences in my hands, going, God, where are you in, you know, both this? And then also I was going through normal parenting struggles with my kids and meeting me eye to eye. And I said, Jesus, and I was crying. And I said, how did you handle it? How did you really, how did you carry the weight of the world and handle this? And he said, Anna, lean into me. To lean into me. You lean into me. He said, this world will strip you, but you lean into me, worship me, and keep your focus. And he said, Anna, look at me. Lean in. Lean in. And ever since then, I've learned just as I go about day to day, just to lean into him more. I want to, um, I just want to speak. I just feel like somebody, you've been going through something, you're in a season where it's incredibly hard, you're, and there is a lot of discouragement on you right now. You're going through something, and you are not seeing the breakthrough, you're not seeing the promise of God that you've been declaring and praying into. And right now, I want to pray for you. Discouragement, 
to be broken off of you right now in Jesus' name. Let hope arise. He is for you. He is not against you. And he is that close. He is right there. Although you can't see him, you can't feel him. He is right there beside you. Just lean into him. I like that phrase. Lean into him. And he's more than enough. When we come back, Anna, who sees in the invisible world, she'll see demons, but she'll also see angels, Mm -hmm. saw angels in a meeting bringing literal body parts to people. Be right back. (laughs) Now, Anna, these uh, experiences you've had in heaven, they're not just for you. Who are they really for? No. I feel like God gave me these encounters to just release them so there's so that everybody can encounter him like that. I'm not a special person. I'm just an I'm just a regular person, but I know how to step into his presence and I love to lead other people to step into his presence. It's all for it's all for intimacy with him. You know, I just want to say that going to heaven is amazing. But knowing him is the best part. So for me, I release these stories so that other people can find themselves one step closer to Jesus and just get hungry, create that hunger that other people can experience that and go there as well. Um, Anna, you were at a GLOW meeting and you saw something that I just pray that it would happen here as you tell this story. I was supposed to speak at a conference at the Women's Aglow meeting, and the honest truth is I was not feeling well. (laughs) I was really sick that morning. And I said, God, if I'm going to do this, heal me, Lord, or send me back up, please. (laughs) That was my prayer. Now I was declaring, I'm going to be healed, I'm going to be healed. And then I got there and I wasn't healed. And I was like, oh, I'm not feeling good. And we're during worship, worship's going on, and my assistant looked at me and she said, you know, I can't see them, but I feel them. Are there angels here? And right then, my spiritual eyes were open, and I saw angels lining the whole back of the, you know, the stage where I was going to preach at, lining the back and the sides. Uh, I've heard about having your back, but this is great. (laughs) (laughs) So I went to preach and I, you know, I gave a message and then we did an altar call. If you need healing, come forward. And you know, the altar got filled. And as I was going to go start praying, I stopped because I felt a warm heat come behind my right shoulder. So I looked behind me like this and there I saw an angel standing right there. And the angel was holding a kneecap in his hand. So I went, huh. And I said, does anybody need healing in their knee? And it was the person right in front of me, the first lady. And she said, me, 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 me. So I went, grabbed the knee, and then I just put it on her knee. And there was an audible pop. Now, when you grabbed the knee, I'm just curious, did you literally feel like it was in your hand? Yes. Yes, it felt a weight, the heaviness of it, and it was hot. It felt oh. hot to my touch. So put it in her knee, big oh. heels. She's, it, there was a pop. She's screaming, oh, I've been healed. She's jumping, jumping, jumping. And I said, that's awesome. Anything else back here? <laughs> but one by one, angels continued to bring me body parts. And that, for me, was a new experience of partnering with angels and partnering with what God is releasing from heaven. And he released body part after body part after body part in that meeting. It was incredible. I I have uh, interviewed people that have uh, died and gone to heaven and been told it wasn't their time, came back. And they have described a room in heaven called a body parts yes. room. Have you ever seen that? Yes, room? I've been there. Okay. It's so, a real thing. It's real. So can you picture, but, but here's the truth. This life is nothing more than a blink of the eyes mm-hmm. and it's over compared to eternity, which has no end. And it's also true, no matter how healthy you are, no matter how young you are, you don't know when your time will end. So there is nothing to compare with knowing God experientially before you die 
because the only way you'll know where you're going to go after you die is if you know God experientially before you die. And I know how you can do it, because God loves the whole world, but let's narrow in right on you right now. God loves the whole world, but He loves you. And if you will say this prayer with me and mean it to the best of your ability, out loud, right where you are, God is not a man that he should lie. And he says, you will be rescued from all of your sins and have intimacy with him and know him. Repeat this prayer out loud. Dear God, Dear God I'm a sinner. I'm a sinner. Against you, and you alone have I sinned, and I'm so sorry. I believe the blood of Jesus washes away every bad thing I've ever done. You say you remember it no more, and I'm clean. It's so good to be clean. And now that I'm clean, now that I'm clean Jesus, I you as my Lord. Jesus, I confess you as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come inside of me. Lord Jesus, come inside of me. Take, over Take over my life. Amen. Amen. And God says, I will never leave you or forsake you. Mm -hmm. Anna. We just have about a minute. I want you to pray an impartation, and I'm going to grab into that for being a seer. Okay. So it, it's no special formula, but I've led people through this so many times. So I just want you, just so you remove distractions, close your eyes right now. Get really still. Father, right now, I thank you that your presence is so thick right now. You are releasing your glory and your presence over each one of us. Now, wherever you are, you're going to start feeling the tangible presence of God. Lord, I pray right now just the impartation of seer anointing to be released in Jesus' name. I pray right now that everybody would be able to, their spiritual eyes and your senses would be opened to the things of Christ. Now, right now, I see in the Spirit a picture of Jesus looking with his eyes and smiling. I see the smile of Christ. Can you see it? Now, just wait. Waiting is the hardest part. Just be still and wait. Do you feel it? He's right there. Now your senses and your eyes, you're going to start seeing in the spirit. Don't be afraid. Is this me? Is this God? Is this the enemy? Don't worry. God is good. He is a good God that he will always confirm himself to you in the word through prophetic revelations he will confirm himself but would you dare right now dare to believe that what you're sensing is the real God you are sensing the tangible presence of God right now come over you he's that real and he's that close in Jesus name amen that means so be it. It's done. <laughs>